If for some strange reason I lost all of my makeup, a fire burned down my house, a robber came in and stole all my makeup, first of all, I'd be devastated. But these are the products that I would repurchase first. And I think that speaks to how much I love these products because these are the products that I simply could not live without. Starting off for primer, I think if I lost all of my primers, I would definitely miss this Sticky Grip Primer from CoverGirl the most, and this is what I would repurchase first. I love how hydrating this feels on the skin, and I like how it gives me a little bit of an extended wear to my foundation. For foundation, no surprise here, my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. This is just the best all-around foundation. You can sheer it out for an everyday look. You can build it up for a glam look. It wears all day long perfectly. It doesn't move around, doesn't break up. It gives you a beautiful, luminous glow to the skin without being greasy or oily. It sets down perfectly. It's amazing. Just everything that I could want in a foundation and more, so I would definitely need to repurchase this ASAP. For concealer, you already know that I cannot go without my Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. This is just perfection in a bottle. It gives you amazing, flawless coverage while still being creamy and hydrating under the eyes. I don't know how Natasha did it, but she did it. If I only had this concealer, in my collection, I would be happy. I'm very attached to my bronzers, but if I had to just start off repurchasing one, I definitely think I would repurchase the Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzing and Shaping Fluid. This is a newer addition to my collection, but I just love it so much. It is super, super sheer on the skin, but it builds up nicely. It sets down so it wears all day long, and it just gives you the most beautiful bronzed, natural skin finish. Ever. It has a little bit of luminosity, but it's not glittery. It's not sparkly. It is simply gorgeous I also love how it comes with a pump so you can mix this into your foundations If they're a little bit too light for you and it deepens them up slightly I think I would repurchase this shade in light and while I'm at it would probably repurchase the next shade up Light medium because I believe that shade has a little bit more of a warm undertone This one's a little bit more neutral. So because I love the formula so much I think I would just snag two because why not when I got to thinking about which cream and liquid blushes I would miss most if I lost my collection. I wasn't surprised that I immediately thought of my e.l.f. camo liquid blushes. Specifically, my favorite shade is in the shade Dusty Rose. It is just a gorgeous mauve rose that is a little bit neutral. It's not too cool. This is a super pigmented liquid blush. Stays all day long. It blends out like a dream and it's just gorgeous. Definitely would need this in my collection. This is like the perfect everyday blush for me. When I started to think about it, I was also surprised kind of that my mind jumped to this, which I don't think I've really mentioned that much on my channel. It is my Nudies Matte All Over Face Bronze Color in the shade Beach Babe. This formula has been around forever. It's an oldie but a goodie. More than anything, I love the shade of this blush bronzer. I don't know if it's technically a bronzer, but I use it as a blush because it gives you like that sunburnt look basically, and that's really what I use this blush for. On an everyday basis, I like a blush that looks super natural, that I can kind of put all over the center of my face. It's gonna look like I was just out at the beach. I will say, I wish this wore a tiny bit longer, just for how expensive it is, but the color is truly something special that I definitely would miss and need to repurchase. <laughs> Another surprising one, I think, these melt blush lighters. These are a product that I feel have not gotten a lot of hype, not a lot of people talk about them. These are a super dewy and emollient cream blush formula, which is a little bit surprising because I'm actually usually not one to go for a very dewy blush, but these somehow last really well. They don't overly emphasize the pores or texture that I have, and I just love how luminous and glowy they are in my skin. There's something about this formula that is truly so beautiful and special. I think more people need to talk about them because they're so good. Heaven forbid I lost all of my makeup, I would definitely want to snag these again. For powder blush, I would need to repurchase my Clinique Cheek Pop blush, specifically in the shade Nude Pop. This is just a gorgeous, glowy, baked blush that's not glittery or sparkly, and I love the shade of this. It's the perfect everyday nude that goes with everything, so I would definitely need this. And I would also snag a little blush duo from Juvia's Place. Any of the shades are beautiful, but I really do love this one in 
volume four because this shade is just the perfect brightening baby doll pink i love the formula it's pigmented but not too pigmented to where you feel like you have to work really hard to blend them out they give you a soft matte finish to the skin which is nice and blurring and flattering and they're just foolproof basically and the same thing goes for the bronzer if i was going to repurchase a powder bronzer because i lost all of mine i would grab this little duo from juvie's place because the formula is so good but also because you get two different undertones in one basically so it saves me from having to buy two separate bronzers you get a warmer undertone in a cooler undertone which is just perfect for chiseling out the face or for when I'm more fair and I need something cooler and if I want to warm up the skin I can go in with this one this is just a really velvety powder formula there's not going to be a bunch of kick up and it just feels really really nice on the skin for highlight, I would definitely want to grab a Rare Beauty highlighter. This one I have is in Enlighten, which is the beaming white shade, the lightest shade that they offer. However, if I was going to repurchase it, maybe I would grab the next one up, the more golden-y shade, just because this one can be a little bit stark because it is such an intense blinding highlighter, but I love this formula. I think it looks so pretty on the skin, and I don't always go for a highlighter, but when I do, I kind of want it to make an impact, so I would definitely need to grab another of these rare beauty highlighters they're so cute and i really really love how impactful they are without being glittery or sparkly or chalky for face powders i actually have three but they all do a different thing definitely need to repurchase the skin fetish sublime perfection perfecting powder if you know you know this is just the best powder if you have dry skin if you have a lot of texture if you have mature skin i think you would really like this powder because it's like the thinnest powder i have ever used it's practically undetectable on the skin but it's super super blurring would definitely need to repurchase this it is an amazing powder I would also like to have a loose powder on hand and this is by far my favorite loose powder for every day it's the elf halo glow setting powder this sets your makeup without giving you a flat matte finish it gives you a little bit of a luminous finish but it's not glittery it just looks like skin would definitely repurchase this and I love that it's affordable I mean I would pay even more money for this because it's such a great quality powder but it's a plus that it is not so expensive I also would repurchase this soft focus setting powder from Sigma an underrated slept on product that I don't know if I give enough love to on my channel but I love this powder it is a more like heavy duty glam kind of powder to where it has a little bit more pigment it's going to give you more of that like airbrushed baby doll skin effect but I really really love that for a more glam look for adding a little bit of brightness under the eyes it's a really great powder to brighten to add a little bit more coverage to fill in the pores while also not making my skin look dry and cake definitely love this one and i have the shade vanilla bean milani make it last would be my setting spray of choice it's affordable and it gets the job done so would definitely need to add this to my collection again also, I'm somebody who likes to have something on my eyes, so I always like to have an eyeshadow primer. My favorite is Eye Prep Eye Prime, Juvia's Place Eyeshadow Primer. Kind of a boring repurchase, but definitely one that I would miss if it was gone. And then these MAC Paint Pots. These are like an OG YouTube product that everybody used to talk about, but I actually use them a lot on like a daily basis, just when I'm not doing like an eyeshadow look, but I wanna cancel out any veins or discoloration I have on my lids. I will a lot of times reach for this one in painterly i also really like groundwork which is slightly deeper neutral leaning cool brown which is just great for like a one and done soft smoky eye for mascara i would run to the drugstore and buy the elf lash extender tubing mascara this is great for every day no fuss mascara doesn't flake or smudge and comes off in little tubes so it's so easy to remove i would definitely hop on amazon and reorder my cleo kill lash again i don't think i've talked about this much on my channel but i really love this mascara for holding a curl if i'm doing something more glam or something where i really want my eyelashes to be impactful i will go for this mascara it holds a curl like no other so I would definitely have to repurchase this the best eyeliners are from pixie the endless silky eye pencils eye pens sorry I would just repurchase every shade I could get rid of all my other eyeliners and just have these pixie eyeliners and I would be happy very pigmented very creamy stay on the waterline well but they also blend out and smudge out really nice they're just a great eyeliner and I would definitely miss these if they were gone for liquid liners I would need to 
to get my Point Made liquid liner from One Size in the shade Busty Brown. This is my favorite brown liquid liner. It's a felt tip, but it's really, really easy to use. The tip doesn't get dried out like a lot of other felt tips. And the brown is a softer, lighter brown. And then for a black, you always need a black liquid liner. It's just a staple product. And I've been really loving this one from LA Girl, the Artist Brush Eyeliner. It is a super intense dark black and even though I'm more of a felt tip eyeliner person I do find this brush tip to be really easy to use it kind of tapers off but it's super long and there's just something about it that makes it really easy to get a smooth sharp wing and I really love how affordable it is as well so that's a plus if I were to not repurchase any makeup the one thing that I would have to have to have to repurchase is a brow pencil because I can go bare face without makeup but I cannot go without doing my brows or else I will look crazy so I would definitely need to grab a little precise brow pencil from Milani. I love the shade Espresso for a more intense brown and then I also have the shade Soft Brown which is just a really nice softer neutral leaning cool brown which is a perfect shade for my brows is the brow pencil I'm wearing today. It's not too creamy, not too waxy, it stays in place really well and I like the fine tip. It comes with a spoolie. What more can you ask for? I also like to have a brow pen just for a more fluffy sort of like PC brow look. For that, I would definitely go and grab a Lift and Snatch brow pen from NYX. I use the shade Ash Brown. It's not too pigmented, so it doesn't give you like a sharpie looking brow. For lip liners, lip liner is probably one of my favorite makeup categories if I'm honest. But I think if I had these lip liners, I would be set and I would be happy. I am just obsessed with the shades of these in particular. These are the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liners. I have the shades Cafe, which is a more warm tone brown. And then I have the shade Sugar and Spice, which is a slightly deeper, slightly more rosy nude. And I think Sugar and Spice is probably my most worn shade, but they're both amazing. They are a wooden formula, but they're not too dry. They don't tug on your lips, but they also give you a very soft look. So I love these for every day. If you know me, you know that I love a long wearing lip liner formula. And while I love the LA Girl lip liners, they're not particularly the most long wearing but these ones from Moira will stay in place so I would definitely want to grab a couple of these lip appeal waterproof liners these are super creamy very pigmented but once they set down they are like bulletproof they are not gonna budge I have two shades the deeper brown is discreet and then I have a lighter pinky nude called after party would grab both of these and maybe a couple more while I'm at it while I'm rebuilding my collection because they're just such a great long wear lip liner for Formula. They're super affordable as well, so it's a bonus. While on the Moira website, I would definitely grab one of their signature lipsticks. These are like a lip balm lipstick hybrid. They're more pigmented than a normal lip balm, but they have that same like glossy, moisturizing, nourishing consistency. I have the shade 03 Peach Nude, which is such a gorgeous like everyday color. I love the formula of these. It just glides right on the lips. Super nourishing, super hydrating, and I like how it adds a little bit of color without being like too much to where it feels like it's getting gloppy or just like too pigmented for that type of formula. Along the same lines, I would definitely want to grab another one of these so juicy plumping lip balm things from ColourPop. And I definitely would want to grab this shade, which I'm wearing today in Vacay Mood. These are very, very glossy, a bit more glossy than the Moira. Similar idea where it gives you a little bit of pigment and color. It's not an opaque color and it gives you that shine and that like nourishment to the lips. So definitely would need a couple of those. Those are like my go-to everyday lippy. Another one of my favorite formulas that I wear every other day or just whenever I want something a little bit more long wearing, I always grab for these Romand Juicy Lasting Tints. Romand is a K-beauty brand, but you can get them off of Amazon. I have Nucadamia, which is like my favorite shade. It's a deeper brownie nude and you can see it has a little bit of a glossy finish feels like a water going on it's a little bit cooling but the color stays around for a surprising amount of time and then i also really love the shade pomelo skin which is a little bit lighter a little bit more peachy this would be one of the first products i went on to amazon to grab the last lippy that i would have to repurchase is this vinyl ink from maybelline this is one of my favorite lip products in general it's a long wearing formula that's not drying it's a little bit more long wearing than the 
bromand, but not quite as glossy or hydrating. But it is the most long wearing when I don't want to worry about having to reapply a lip. I will reach for this and I love the shade peachy because it's just the perfect like peachy pink. It's not too orange, not too pink. It just works really well for my complexion. I love the shade of that and the formula. It's like a win-win. Eyeshadow is not like a poor makeup product, but it is a category that I personally really enjoy. Doing my complexion makes me feel beautiful, makes me feel like myself, but my eyeshadow is where I really get to play. I personally would really miss having eyeshadow palettes in my collection. It's just my creative outlet. I know eyeshadow is not super popular, but you know, let me be me. I would need a neutral palette. The ColourPop Going Coconuts palette is my favorite neutral palette. I have sadly lost a couple shades, so actually if I lost this palette, I wouldn't be too heartbroken because I would get to get a new one. Yeah, I love how pigmented these mattes are, and I really do love the shimmers in this formula. This one, which is like a almost like a rosy brown, is so gorgeous. It's my favorite. It's one of the best ColourPop palettes, formula-wise and color story-wise, in my opinion. I would definitely really, really miss my Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. This is one of my favorite high-end palettes because it's like a neutral palette with a twist. You get a lot of like these sagey greens. One of my favorite colors to wear, but you also get some really nice staple neutrals like these more pinky tones, this fun pop of lavender. I love all the shimmers. I love the mattes, which are so pigmented and blendable. It's just a really great, great palette. For those moments when I really wanna play, I would definitely run to Odin's Eye website run. Doesn't matter which palette. All of them are gorgeous. I love Odin's Eye formula. I love the color story. You can tell I'm a huge fan of the brand. They just make some of the most interesting color stories that you don't find elsewhere. I love the artwork as well. It's just something that really brightens my day and sparks joy. Today I'm wearing the Jewels and Gem palette, which I think was my first Odin's Eye palette. And it's just, as you can see, a gorgeous, grungy, cool tone, somewhat neutral palette. Mattes are so pigmented, so blendable. The shimmers are out of this world. I definitely would miss my Odin's Eye palettes. It's just an extra thing, but it's something that brings me a lot of joy. So I definitely would want to grab one for my own creative sanity. <laughs> So yeah guys, those are all the products that I would definitely repurchase if some crazy event happened and I lost all of my makeup. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just a fun little exercise. Of course, makeup is not everything and there are many worse things that can happen in the world than losing your makeup. Don't take this video too seriously. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm praying for all of you guys. The world is crazy, but I hope you all are doing well, staying safe, being healthy, and I'll catch you guys in my next video.